leather's edge Live as it gets in a fit, flick your chick off my dick I'm bad news for you dudes like cancer to break I'm good news for your bitch cause I'm clowning the seventh letter spot Clever shot, you better not waste no time on contenders Watch, obligated by this high as I get Say word. Yeah, they're always biting my shit I put a chill factor on all that spitting food in my face Shit, when you ask irrelevant questions, long noise that don't make sense Beat me to space camp for a simple taste test And I'll return to Earth a changed man with a pair of Ray-Bans Deflecting hatred off your probated, spectated, infestated I put a zero in your flesh base, degraded Hate gets an A for effort, nest egg deflated Laughing all the way to the bank, that's a wound from a shank Pleasure to make your acquaintance, Jack rip your fucking face And put a surge inside your girl's taint Sent to a dark place, tortured and beat You better pray your asshole grows teeth Flesh Charlie White Tell the 99% to meet the 99th percentile Pennywise the clown times 99 cent style Since I admit, admit you find the sense foul Graphic images like penthouse, penthouse What's good? Cypher 209, Straight Edge Come from Northern California, what's good? Hi, I'm Joe Cutter, representing San Jose, California Thunder Hut, Dead Horse, Filthy Cutter, 408 I feel like uh, I'm one of the more up and coming people that helped rebuild it after all the top tier got too top tier for us. Um, I'm trying to bring it back with a bunch of the homies that came up at the same time. So Northern California, Southern California, we keep traveling, trying to make this pop, you know what I mean? Thoughts on my opponent? Um, I respect my opponent as a person. Um, I think uh, the well-rounded aspect that I look for in a lot of MCs are not dwelling within my opponent. Well, this battle was uh, pretty important to me. I've known Joe Cutter since I started battling, um, and he's he's been a legend in the city. Uh, it's a proving ground for me, so I had to make sure I uh, got to him where no one else got to him, and if I'm going to use a similar angle, i got to take it a little bit different. My, my comfortable process is having uh, my shit memorized for at least a month, and uh, you know, using that comfort, but uh, this time I just kind of had to pull a few things out of my ass. But um, pretty random is my process, so this time it... Uh, it was kind of um, bouncing off the walls, but we'll see what happens. Win or loss, I'm going to bring a good battle. I think uh, win winning, uh, winning is, is very important, but even if you lose, if you, if you make a battle, if you make them want to watch the battle over and over, if it's debatable, it's all you need. Fresh Coast Basement 818 is the West in the motherfucking function. Yeah. West said we got a whole fucking strange Cats and goons in the building, my man Christian. Christian 818, you know? motherfucking Stones of the Earth crew, you know, king of the dot, fresh coast, what's good? It's fucking sick fucks, we out here, you already yeah, know what's time is. Fight, sick fuck, Dr. Zodiac. Of course, the official sick fuck slash king of the dot, fresh coast, ring girl, give it up, candy that kills in the function. Right. Yeah. 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 Wearing the least clothes so far, I ain't mad. All right, let's go. Hell, the motherfucker. My man, G Money in the function. West side, let's do this. G Skrilla, okay, Malathine. Project Blow, Fresh Coast. All right, rapper on my left hand side, introduce yourself. Cypher 209, Straight Edge, what's up? King of the Dot. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Put your shit over your mouth, this Joe Cutter, you know who you is. 408, Joe Cutter, San Jose, California. Splash. Oh, hey. Rapper on my right, call it in there. I'll go first. Damn, three Damn, motherfuckers are all time. trying to think like this. He wants to go first, too. No, they both want to go first. Awkwards and Jay's reenacted. I'll go first. Be me. LA, what's good? Kayate, <laughs> when the dude is on. Lower your bulbous nugget in shame for having the most unoriginal moniker in the game. This maggot scratches more pickle than D styles. Meanwhile, your whole fucking family is cliche. I heard that Cypher is a brother named Battle and a sister named Freestyle. <laughs> I'd rather swallow my expensive dentures, gargle hot garbage, and chew on glass and acknowledge Cypher as my sergeant. I'm shutting him down with a blockbuster just because you're straight edge don't mean that you can box cutter. Ooh. This faggot paid to try out in the jungle. <laughs> Light years away from awesome. I bet he had an erection in his pocket when he sent foxes, did it a direct deposit. <laughs> you look like Pedro shrank, gained some weight, then lost it off his Napoleon complex. Now fuck this Mexi hobbit. 
<laughs> Why are you so infatuated with imitating the voice of Caustic in your blogs, bitch? Is it because you're secretly in the closet and wish that Mr. Stefani would pose for you like Lexi Lawless? Yeah, yeah. You being a waddling contradiction is the only exercise that will ensue. You don't believe in sex. Drugs is something you refuse to do, but you'll obviously go above and beyond the call of dues to obliterate your vessel with fast food. The internet is shitty food this faggot doesn't even realize which one he's more addicted to. I'll beat the shit out of you with Absurd's head. <laughs> then decapitate four more guys. Have him rocking a year-round raccoon facial feature. Aren't you a cypher? Sore eyes. <laughs> Fucking maggot lips. <laughs> Let's not forget how hard you wrote Absurd's nuts and tits, but now that Absurd got dismissed, it pretty much still makes you Absurd's bitch. Your human airbag is no threat to collide with him. Watch this cutter violence play this tub of shit like violins. They call this faggot Cypher, because every rapper in the 209 has been inside of him. Uh, yes, it's Let's go! Cypher's on fire. Over. Yikes! Joe Cutter. You are an unapologetic junkie. To your vice you've succumbed. Now begging people to buy, buy your album via your pay, Facebook page and guilt trips is what your life has become. But don't get it twisted, y'all. He ain't making money off this shit. You basically rap on mics for the fun. You should probably quit trying and get mine. Learn to sacrifice for your son. Ooh. Your whole career is a sham, Cutter. But still you wonder why your pirate ship's been in the damn gutter. <laughs> Captain Hook doesn't strive to achieve. It's as clear as can be. He stays away from the green because it's Peter Pan's color. <laughs> Your bank statement is a blank statement. <laughs> For you, not sleeping outside in those cold San Jose streets is a vacation. You want to know why your life's hard? It's because he's never seen a time card. Your idea of touring is playing for Chinese tourists out of, outside of San Francisco dive bars. You are by far the most pathetic. You are an addict and you're hopeless. I bet if I mention this kid by name tonight, he'll stab me and I know it. Just kidding, guys. He actually throws sweaters to try to damage opponents. Since then for the moment, I bet when you fight with your wife, it looks like a fucking hamper exploded. <laughs> A 15 minute set is something he's unable to rock. As if he drew a heavy enough sigh, this tub of shit would probably fly in an anaphylactic shot. You see, there's a constant flow of shit that comes out of Cypher's face because it's against his straight edge religion to have an asshole. <laughs> Somehow, randomly confirming the fact that you're overrated like D mites and have a touch of autism yeah. like Uno Labos. <laughs> you treat eating like it's a sport, so your mouth should have its own goalie to save itself from the ravioli and mad pizzoli. When you got served by Reverse Live, it was like getting your cherry pop for the first time. Afterwards, you prayed to your non-existent straight-edge god from Earth to the sky for the infinite ability to reverse time. If anyone else is wondering why he's that shape, it's because of what he ate. It's simple. Just by his name, we can see why it looks like he has pH in the middle. Ooh. Fuck that caterpillar race taking place in the middle of your face, in, in your mind's eye, fella, because it's really just a passive-aggressive way to make disaster's eyebrows jealous. Oh! He did a song <laughs> called Sober Till It's Over, an ode to his false idols. But I think broke, socially awkward, and never seen a beautiful tight vagina would have been a better fitting title. <laughs> this Paisa dad likes to siphon gas out of Cypher's ass! <laughs> I'll bring mother jokes back like a revamp in the In Living Color cast, so with that said, you come from the longest line of Hispanic female lumberjacks. <laughs> that Jerry Springer has to fucking forklift you out your bed with sores. Rhinoceros skin tough like he can lay down on a bed of swords. No. Your wrestler name is Esther all the cholesterol if a bitch miraculously gave him the network he'd probably come quicker than Jake Gallagher's part in the social network oh. your left left wasn't right right from the get mark contra spread gun bullets hit you no BA select star yeah, every single night your kid walks up to your wife like, Mom, 
Mommy, where's Daddy gone? And she replies, Don't worry, son, he's in LA again trying to job shadow Caddy Rod. Oh. But yo, Caddy hit rehab, right? You should have probably tagged along instead of fucking sitting on Skid Row trying to smoke angel dust out of your magic wand. Oh! Say so you passed the bomb. He's sketchy, like he's badly drawn. You didn't think Cypher would come at you like this, right? But you had me wrong. I don't care what Joe say, you're taking the L though if you're champion Cause on the Bible, I'll take the title on any stage that they have me on So anybody in the basement tonight that thought he would win I should smack all of ya <laughs> Cause when I face Cutter, it's just another dead bitch like the Black Dahlia Let me repeat that like QP I said, when I face Cutter, it's just another dead bitch like the Black Dahlia <laughs> So I can't respect you mijo you look like Chester Cheeto! <laughs> you look like Chester Cheeto's Ese Primo! <laughs> you would probably neglect your hijo to move down south to be the next mestizo! One bar of his getting butt fucked by Ted Danson. You're so much of a fat ass that when you ride a bike by yourself, it appears tandem in a straight edge bird shit got me believing you've had less sex than the homie tantrum. Oh. How much does your life hurt, Cypher? Your bitch has thigh fur that run up to her 1970 Elvis sideburns. When you look at her, your eyes burn. Faggot, I stopped doing drugs to make room for my responsibilities to evolve. No hot girls ever wanted to share their drugs or fuck you, faggot. You're straight edge by default. I'll scatter your brains inside of a dark, deep hall. Fuck that rhetoric you speak, bro. Yeah, I'll have Cadillac drop a gram inside of your spaghetti and meatballs, then proceed to human suit this motherfucker like the tooth taker and mestizo. Whoa. Your mom plays the whorish card well. Known for giving more cabeza in the desert than a Juarez cartel. <laughs> what you want to brawl poo to get your fucking balls neutered? Finish this round, I'll have you limping around when I break bad like Walt Jr. Ooh. Rip a hole in your chest and crawl through ya. Peep innovation as I maneuver, I'm like a battle rap MacGruber. Maggot dick, you're kitten soft. And for those of you just tuning in, hi, my name's Cutter and this is heavyweight midget toss. <laughs> Gosh, read between the lines of the bullshit. This guy's delirious, thinking his lines get near to this. Don't get confused about how divine his spirit is, because his body has the same build as the Mayan pyramid. No one's believing your straight edge bird shit walking the divine path, but your ego is bigger than Looney Divine's ass. Oh! oh. Say no say. Time! Go! I don't think that's possible. This was my King of the Dot debut, guys. I really wanted somebody fucking skilled. Not some deadbeat San Jose drug mule for luscious pills. <laughs> I'ma change that shit! They said you kicked all your demons, right? Overcame that shit! I bet the turn of a sec, he'd grab a tourniquet and try to vein that shit! If I saw the headlines, Joe Cutter is dead, I would fucking frame that shit! I got, I got the news tip off from a reliable source. You got a ghostwriter. Your homie says you use it. You guys don't believe me? He's right. I got this voicemail to prove it. It's like, beep. Hey, yo, son. <laughs> it's the kid Cutter. <laughs> I mean, it's the kid Caustic. <laughs> I gave Cutter a bunch of bars for his battle and he still fucking lost it. <laughs> you don't believe me? I put that shit on my friendship with Andy Milanakis. <laughs> Cutter's on some knock shit. He has a belly tap. Drug life across it! Every fucking red light, his arms get 
shot up on some pot shit. Once again, it's Jay Smooth with the world famous Project Blow Brothers Manifesto crew. On his latest battle, I'm gonna go with Joe Cutter. Simple fact that I'm more here for the true art of MCing. My man Cypher was more telling jokes uh, on beat. You know what I mean? I'm, I, I really like how Joe Cutter got into his verses and really put down a good performance. Not taking anything away from Cypher, he was funny and entertaining, but I like more of a, a MC that's here to, to show me what kind of rap skills he has, not necessarily being a comedian. What's up, it's the Rec EBA. Um, I remember seeing Joe Cutter when he first started battling and thinking if he really tightened his style up, it would be cold. Like what I saw tonight was ill. Like the way he went from funny, he had bars, he, he weaved in a lot of lyricism, I think it was hot. I think in that first round, I, I, I was gonna give it to Joe Cutter, but Cypher said some shit at the end. I forget exactly what the punchline was, but he said some crazy line to put him over the top for me. And that's kind of how the whole battle went for me. I, I had. It was going back and forth, and Cypher was just coming with some like retarded punchlines. When he said the thing about Pac, and he was like, nah, nah, too soon, too soon. Like that, that shit was hilarious. It's the little shit the MCs add in between their lines that really puts them over the top to me. And Joe Cutter was nice, don't get me wrong. I think he still got a little bit of tightening up to do, but like he, he's basically there. You know what I mean? But I definitely give that one uh, to, to Cypher, a slight edge on every round, and I like the way he was ending his first two rounds. What up? It's these old Mike and I'm worth it. Uh, shout out to both of uh, both of them, Joe Cutter and Cypher. They both they both killed it. And shouts to them, shouting out me and the whole crew, Tuki Wavy. Uh, I gave it to Cypher just uh, based on the simple fact of the characteristics he was flipping. I enjoy little things like that, you know, coming in sounding like a little kid and then flipping it, and just going monster on him, going ham. So I gave it to Cypher. But Joe Cutter still wrecked it super hard. It was a hard decision for me. I just, uh, based on characteristics and style, I went with Cypher on this one. It's good. Shame's worthy. Ton of rats. Foot Soldiers LPG. Good life. Project Blow. Um, just saw a really, really dope, entertaining battle. It was much more equal than the other one we peeped earlier. Um, it was real close. I ended up actually giving it to Joe Cutter. I just think that. They both had big punchlines, they both had big explosions, um, but cutters just seemed to have a little bit, a few of them were a little bit bigger and a little bit more consistent. There was a couple bars in between, even though Cypher had some big ones, like like Direct said, that Suge line was crazy, but just edge it out, I gave it to Joe Cutter. If I had to say who I gave the edge to, I would say Joe Cutter this time around, but Cypher had some killer punchlines. Um, both of them were incredible and, and clever. You know, um, but I gave it to Joe Cutter on the edge. But you know, Cypher, keep doing your thing. I know it's your debut um, here on this stage. You hot, you you know, you raw with yours. Stay in the trenches, baby. It's always the next battle. Sway and tack. Cali is active. Let's bang. Really close battle. Honestly, it was the first split decision of the night. Three to two. They gave it to Joe Cutter. Oh. <laughs> No losers in this battle. Both of them fucking body that shit, am I right? Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to everyone that's supporting everyone on rapmusic.com, King of the Dot, all the Fresh Coast scene and Fresh Coast forever. So let's go, Lush One, everyone. Shouts to uh, Thunder Hut and 408 and San Jose as a whole and everyone involved in this awesome opportunity.